viewers, thank you for joining us. There are three ways, exciting way of doing this. Let's look at the first one very quickly. Here we can expand this side, and when we expand this side, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is equal to x squared. And from here, we can subtract x squared from both sides, such that x squared will go here, and x squared will go here. This side remains 0, then we have minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. And when we take, let's take minus 2x there so that it becomes plus. So we then have 1 equals to 2x. And we are finding x, we can divide both sides by 2 such that we have x will now be equals to 1 over 2, which is half. So we can check from the problem given and see whether the solution is half. So when we put half in this equation here now, we have into bracket half minus 1, then square equals to half squared. And then in this bracket, we have minus half squared equals to half squared is 1 over 4. And here, when we square minus, it's plus as well. So we also have 1 over 4 here which is equal to 1 over 4. That means x equals to half is a correct answer. Now, quickly, let's look at the other way of solving this. Let's look at the second way of solving this problem. We have x minus 1 squared equals to x squared. Here, we can bring this x squared to this side. And this subtract x squared from both sides, we have x minus 1 squared, then minus x squared now equals to 0 left here. And when we see this, we see in form of difference of 2 squared, when we have a squared minus b squared, this will give us a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So that's difference of 2 squared. And when we apply it here now, we have x minus 1 standing as a a then plus x standing as a b then times x minus 1 minus x standing as a b equals to 0 and when we do that here we have in this bracket x plus x that's 2x then minus 1 then in this bracket here we have x minus x cancel each other then we have minus 1 left then equals to 0 and from here, we can see that when we simplify this side, we can use minus to multiply, and we have minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Same way, when we solve this, we can take minus 2x there and say this is 1 equals to 2x now. So when we divide both sides by 2, our x will be also 1 over 2, which is half. So this is a solution. The same thing with what we got the other time and uh, let's look at the third way of solving this very quickly when we have x we are given x minus 1 squared equals to x squared then we can take the square root on both side taking the square root on both side here we have square root of x minus 1 squared equals to square root of x squared and from here square we cancel square root and this one will be absolute value of x minus 1 equals to absolute value of x so and uh, there are two cases for this absolute value of x minus 1 equals to absolute value of x so case 1 now uh, let's look at case 1 for this we have x minus 1 is equal to x and uh, x minus 1 is equal to minus x. So on this side, one is positive and one is negative. Then case 2 as well. For case 2, so for case 2 now, this side one will be positive and the other will be negative. 
and this two, this side the two will be positive so we have x minus one equals to x and the second one here now will be negative that's minus x minus one equals to x so these two sides are positive now when we solve this the first one here when we subtract x from both sides we discover that what we have left in this one here now is minus 1 equals to 0 so we have minus 1 equals to 0 left here which is not valid so no solution there no solution here then in the second one here now when we take this x here now we have 0 left here then we have this side plus x x plus x that's 2x minus 1 equals to 0 then 2x will then be equals to take minus 1 there minus 1 become plus 1 therefore s equals to half same thing with the solution we got so on this side as well when we check taking this x here like subtracting x from both sides we have x minus x 0 so same thing as 0 minus 1 so 0 minus 1 equals to 0 something like that that means 0 equals to 1 so this one too is not valid is not a valid solution there and when we solve this we have the second one we have minus x plus 1 equals to x so taking x let's take minus x there and the remaining one here now equals to x plus x which is 2x so we have 1 equals to 2x we can divide both sides by 2 and then we have 1 over 2 equals to x which is the same thing as the solution we got as x equals to half. So these are the three ways of solving this problem. We say thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.